Welcome back. Now that we have created a Django project, it's time to create applications within the project to implement various functionalities. Let's get started. A Django application is a module in a Django project. A project can have multiple applications, each with its own specific function. To create an application, make sure you're in the same directory as manage.py and execute the command. Python manage.py start at my app. Here, my app is the name of the new application you're creating. You can replace my app with any name you prefer for your application. This command creates a directory named my app. Using an IDE like Sublime Text or VS Code makes it easy to see a visual representation of these files and folders, which helps you code faster and with less effort. Open VS Code and load the project folder. Next, we need to register our new application in the Django project so that Django recognizes it as part of the project. Navigate to the My Project directory and locate the settings.py file. This file contains configuration settings for your Django project. Look for the installed apps list. This list contains all the applications that are currently registered and active in your project. Add the name of your new application to the installed apps list. The entry should be added as a string. Next, let's create a simple view in our application. A view in Django handles the logic for processing a user's request and returning a response. Navigate to the My App directory and open the views.py file. This file is where you define the views for your application. Import the HTTP response class from the Django.http module. This class is used to send a simple HTTP response back to the user's browser. Define a function named index that accepts a parameter called request, which represents the user's HTTP request. Inside the function, it returns an HTTP response object containing the message congratulations, you have created a web application using Django. When a user accesses this view, the browser will display this message. Next, you need to map this view to a URL so it can be accessed from a web browser. Create a file named urls.py in your MyApp directory. Open urls.py and add the code to map the index view to a URL. Importing the path function, this function is used to define URL patterns. Import the views module. This imports the views defined in the views.py file. Define the URL pattern. The URL pattern is a list of URL patterns for your Django application. It's a configuration variable used to define how URLs will be mapped to views. This line specifies a URL pattern configuration using the path function. The empty string represents the root URL or the base URL of your Django application. Views.index indicates that when the root URL is accessed, Django should call the index function defined in the views.py module of your application. Naming URL patterns allows you to refer to them by name in other parts of your Django application, such as templates or views. Next, we need to include this URL configuration in the project's main urls.py file. Open the urls.py file in the myproject directory. Modify it to include the URLs from your MyApp. Import the include function. This function allows you to include other URL configurations. Include the URL patterns defined in the MyApp application. The include myapp.urls function is used to include the URL patterns from MyApp into the current URL patterns. Adding this URL configuration to the main urls.py file ensures that Django knows what content to show when someone visits different URLs in your web application. We are now ready to run the project. Start the Django development server by running the python manage.py run server command in your command prompt. 
In your Django project, you have configured URL patterns in a way that includes MyApp as a path segment. So Anita the URL with MyApp in your browser. It assumes that your Django project is configured to process requests for this particular URL path, directing Django to use the URL patterns and views defined within the MyApp application. If everything is set up correctly, you should get an output like this. Thank you and see you in the next video.